guys, so today I'm at Skiji with Toga TV. I will link the details down below, but they make cool videos about Japan. And we're going to be eating a lot of street food. So if you guys like street food, then come with me. I'm really excited to eat everything that they have here. Well, not everything, but I'm excited to try some of the food here. So let's go. Skiji Market is best known as one of the world's largest fish markets in Tokyo. The sight of many kinds of fresh fish and other seafood and the busy atmosphere of scooters, trucks, sellers and buyers hurrying around makes Tsukiji Market a major tourist attraction. So the closest station is Tsukiji Shijo Station and then take the A1 exit and head towards the outer market where all the food is sold. Just be careful not to get hit by the vehicles. So the first shop we have come to sells taiyaki in the shape of a tuna because that is what Tsukiji is famous for. This shop sells two main maguro yaki, one is soft and the other is crispy and inside they put red bean paste and for the soft one it also has apricot inside. <laughs> This pastry is normally called taiyaki, but because maguro means tuna in Japanese, they named it maguro yaki. So it's not a taiyaki, it's a maguro yaki. Do you guys like the hard takoyaki or do you not takoyaki? Taiyaki. There you go. Or do you guys like the soft one? It's my first time eating a soft one. I've never had a soft one. Next we have eel on the list and eel is a very popular dish in Japan and it's often very expensive. The shop is famous for its eel and it grills it on a stick to make it easy to eat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat this. This is 200 yen, it's really good. It's so good. Was 200 yen? Mm. So if you come to Tsukiji or Japan, you should definitely try the sea urchin and this shop cuts it freshly in front of you. It's a bit more pricier than the other street food, however, it is definitely something unique. We're gonna eat uni, which is, what, what is, what is uni? Uni is uh, sea urchin. Oh god. I tried this um, sea urchin once in a sushi shop but I don't like it. It's, it's a very particular, it's a very unique flavor. What, what? It's actually not bad. Yeah. I think I think you tried it at a sushi shop though, right? Well, what does it taste like then? It's the texture. It's interesting. So, uh, good luck. Right. It's like, it looks like chocolate. No, no, chocolate. Caramel. Uh, like, I don't know what chocolate you're eating, but uh... Oh, it looks like pudding. Okay, it looks like... Wait, I got too much on my spoon. Oh. No, no, go for it, go for it. Just, just stick it all in there. So really want to eat it, you don't but, have to. But it's um, it's apparently very popular. It's not bad. Oh, it's a very unique. So yeah, I'm not such a big fan of this. However, everyone has different taste buds, right? So if you have tried it out, let me know down below what you thought of it. Moving on to one of the most popular must-eats in Tsukiji, the egg roll. There might be a long line for this, but trust me, it's worth it. You can also see the staff make the egg roll right in front of you, which is a pretty cool show. This is so soft. So this is a sweet egg roll, and it is topped off with grated radish and soy sauce. So it has a great combination of both sweet and savory. And you gotta have ice cream on the list. So this ice cream shop has a lot of flavors, even whale powdered ice cream. Which is whale ice cream. Basically ice cream with a little whale powder on it, so you know. Free whale, you man. Oh yeah! So I found this ice cream to be creamier and more softer than normal ice creams, so it was perfect for a hot day. So there is so much more street food in Tsukiji, but the ones we tried out are more common amongst the locals, but you should definitely try out anything that catches your eye because nothing can go wrong with street food. I'm sure they're all pretty delicious. And if you come to Tsukiji, you probably want to eat some fresh fish or sushi. So lastly, here is a tip when choosing restaurants at Tsukiji. 
So the local restaurants usually don't need to advertise as much because they have been around for years. So the ones with a lot of people lining up are usually advertised more online or have English friendly websites. So rather than lining up for hours, be different from everyone else and try a different shop because that's normally when you find the hidden gems and honestly speaking, the sushi is pretty similar because they get the fish from the same place. <laughs> so if you're not a fan of raw fish, you can also get the lightly grilled one like I did here. Oh, this is good. It's so fresh. Okay, let's go to some other stuff. Some How did you guys like the street food? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. The unagi steak was fantastic. The little eel stick that we had. Uh, that was so good. Yeah, and it was only how much was it? It was like 200 yen, I think. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so what, what did you like? Oh, the, the raw fish was really fresh um, and I, I think everything here was quite a decent price around 100 to 100 yen mm, yeah really so, cheap yeah. so um, definitely check out Dova TV's channel if you guys are interested in Japan they post you guys post quite a lot of videos on you yeah usually like right now we're kind of going back to like maybe one video a week but we used to post quite regularly we already have like over 100 videos so come check us out yeah and I will post all the shops we went to today down below if you guys are coming to the Definitely try out the food and I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching.